is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. Game Tracker just tipped me $25, so we end up with, uh, $35 tips so far tonight, guys. That's a good start, thank you. Oh, by the way, I've screwed up, I didn't add any of those tips to the goal, to the total, did I? So that's three, three, and three. So that'll be another nine. So we're actually at forty-four dollars in tips, guys. We're only six dollars away from the tier one tip goal reward, which is the gun of glasses. It'd be great if we could hit that sooner rather than later. Thank you in advance to anyone who contributes to the fish. And they threw money at him like crazy. And then finally, like a scam artist, he danced around stream like a preacher. And hallelujah, the money's coming in. Hallelujah. You guys, we're so close to hitting the, the hack goal. Can we or excuse me, the uh, glasses goal. It would be really awesome if we please hit that goal. Alright, thank you. So guys, with only half an hour left, really I would appreciate it if you could contribute, uh, in particular with tips. We're trying to reach that $100 tips goal. I would really appreciate any help, okay guys? Shout out to B-Boy Cyclone who tipped me $20. Ooh man, this is a tough one. Whoa! I just received a $22 tip from Random Blessing. Uh, Game Trigger just did a $50 tip. And I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, guys, thank you so much. I will see you next time. In the meantime, stay cool. <laughs> All right? Cool. Thanks. See you later. Oh, uh, I just received a $1.50 tip from Farmer, who says, Glad to see this is going to be another chill night of Penne, Jin, and Twitter after a little bit of WWE Champions. So, first of all, I got to urge all of you. Any of you who are interested in Far Cry 6, stay the fuck away from the internet tomorrow. Because tomorrow, it is all you're going to hear about is Far Cry 6. Every review, early streams, early playthroughs, it's all going to be all over the goddamn internet. And they're all benefiting from it. Not a single person who got this game early is doing it because they feel it's the right thing to do or they're doing a public service. They are lining their pockets with money because they got the game early. Okay? So, just know that. Know that, 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 you know, that's the kind of people that they are. It's hilarious because I go on social media this morning, it's the same fuckers who every new game, they do this. It's the same vicious cycle. Oh, big props to Ubisoft that I got this game early. I can't wait to share all of my gameplay with you tomorrow, guys. Fuck you, you disingenuous sellout shill piece of shit. Why am I toxic? And all your thousands of morons who watch your garbage paid shill content because they're so fucking stupid, they can't realize they're watching a paid advertisement. No, I don't want to follow you on Twitter. No, I don't want to watch your garbage, you fucking stupid actor. You're not even a fucking gamer. You're a fucking paid advertisement. You're an embarrassment to the gaming franchise and the gaming community as a whole. And go fuck yourself. Okay? Now, it's funny because people are saying he's mad. I'm actually not mad at all. What, what upsets me is that there is a vast majority of people out there who don't understand the difference between someone who's actually a content creator who cares about what they do and someone who is a paid shill. That's what really irks me. Because how many people out there, they do these opportunities, right? And the next thing you know, within a few days, they'll never mention that game ever again either. <laughs> you know? You can tell it's that's their paycheck. And people are so fucking dumb. That's really what irks me. It's not that this, this practice exists. It's that people are so dumb they fall for it. And that's why the practice exists. If everyone would just say, oh... Look at all these dumb fuck paid shills who got the game earlier to kiss its butt on Monday. Fuck them, I'm not gonna watch any of their content. I'll wait till Thursday, till people who are like me go and buy the game and play it and then give their honest opinions on it. Then I'll pay attention, I'll ignore the paid shill nonsense. But people are stupid. They fall for this vicious cycle <clears throat> of marketing every single fucking time. Every time. And it just continues and gets worse and worse. Because you see these people actually growing in popularity. And people now think that they're, oh, these are figureheads of gaming. These are people who we should trust. What are you, fucking stupid? Every word out of their mouth is a paid advertisement. Every fucking word. Day one views. Day one inflated views. Make the money. And you're so ignorant you can't understand that. You know? I'm someone who's been on both sides of the fence. I'm a normal gamer like you guys, but I've been there. 
I was to the top of the mountain. I was being offered all of these opportunities. Will you play our game? Will you play it early? Will you advertise it? We'll pay you for it. We'll do this. We'll do that. Hell, I still get offers from time to time for smaller indie games to do, to do that shit. I've never, ever done it. I refuse. That's not who I am. If you're telling me that I can't say what I feel about a game, then I'm not going to fucking play your game. And that's what it is. These are all bullshit. It's all the vicious fucking cycle of advertisements. I guarantee you tomorrow, you will see the usual big-time content creators kissing the fuck out of the ass of Far Cry 6, only for the later in the week or next week to say, oh, I ain't, that actually ain't that good, or, oh, I'm not playing that game anymore. I'm done with that. That's the cycle, man. Seriously. So, you know, I'm very sorry, guys, but it is what it is. Um, that's the case, and, I, you know, that's, that's my opinion on it. You could disagree. Maybe I love the early access of these ex elitist fucking specialty selected content creators getting everything handed to them because they kiss ass because they're a bunch of fucking shills. I've never liked that practice. I never will. And it actually disgusts me that today I go on social media and like literally the same 20, 30 people, oh, I can't wait to put out my content tomorrow. Your content isn't content. You fucking stupid bitch. It's garbage. It's complete fucking disingenuous trash. You're lying to the public to make a fucking paycheck. And we all have to, like, accept it as a, something of quality. You're a fucking asshole. No one should be trusting that or watching that content. But people are too fucking stupid. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, you know, been more successful or things like that. So anyway, if you actually want to see honest feedback on Far Cry 6, I urge you to stay away from the internet tomorrow and wait until Thursday when the game actually releases and watch people who actually are real gamers. You're not a real gamer play the fucking game on stream or in their videos, and they will be honest with you. People who did not get the game early and didn't get paid to kiss its butt will tell you if it's really good or not, okay? So, there you go. Hilarious is an idiot. I'm just gonna ban him because this guy's impersonating Eric the Actor. He says, I'm bitter. I'm not bitter. I could have been part of that. I told you, I've been on both sides of the fence. I got those offers. I turned them down. I said, no, I'm not gonna be a disingenuous person. I'm gonna be honest. And let me tell you guys, I feel so good that I get to come to stream and be myself and be honest with you guys every single day when I play a game. I never have to worry about, oh, I said the wrong thing and now my sponsor is going to drop me because I don't have any sponsors. I have you. You guys who trust me to be honest and upfront with you, right? And to be transparent in all of my feedback when it comes to games because I am you, okay? I am you. That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my goddamn life. I am not them. I am not some paid figurehead shill. Every piece of, stu of content that comes out of my, my streams and every word out of my mouth is real, okay? So thank you for supporting this content. Because if it weren't for you supporting this content, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to put out this content that's honest and transparent and truthful, okay? Thank you for that. All right. So on Thursday, I'm starting my Far Cry 6 playthrough, but I'm on the fence. I don't know what console to get it on. I'd like your feedback over the next few days. Then Kevin Bernstein did another super chat and said he's pre-ordering the Deluxe Edition, not the same. I don't know what you mean, because I have no idea what that's in reference to. But if I guess, what I'm guessing is that you're saying if someone pays for the Deluxe Edition of the game to play it a few days early, is that the same as these people who are getting advanced copies? No. When I pay a few extra bucks to get a game a little early, like I just did with Super Monkey Ball, uh, I'm not under any requirement or embargo to say or do anything. The moment I start playing the game, I can tell you my honest opinion on it. Yes, I paid a little bit of extra money to play it early, but if the game sucks, the game sucks, and I'll fucking tell you. That's the difference between me and these other people who are getting the game early, not because they paid for it, but because they're specially selected by the game publisher to get it early in the understanding they will kiss the game's ass and give it a positive feedback so they will continue to receive free advanced games in the future. Completely different relationship. Not even close to being the same. You see? I can be honest, they cannot. I mean... Who doesn't like money? Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I don't like money. I'm not a liar. He's lost. His mind is scrambled. He doesn't have a fucking, a real intelligent thought up there at this point. When he's doing this shit, he's just money, 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 man. So Snow Carl says, every industry sends out press copies, cards, games, and perfumes. That's why people don't watch trusted reviewers for critique, but a glimpse and overview of the product. They aren't supposed to review but showcase. No offense, but are you jealous? No, because the problem is that's not what happens. If everyone was smart, and everyone understood that every single person who's going to talk about Far Cry 6 tomorrow is essentially a paid shill, then there would be no problem. 
But the problem is tomorrow, all these featured content creators are going to put out playthroughs, streams, reviews. People will flock to the content that's all going to kiss the game's butt. And then they're all going to buy the game on Thursday and say, wait a minute. I'm playing the game and this doesn't feel representative of what I heard on Monday. Yeah, and this is only the millionth time this has happened because you're a moron. You don't understand the difference between a real honest opinion and someone who's being either outright paid or is under the understanding that if they give a positive feedback on a game, they'll continue to have a positive relationship with that publisher in the future for personal benefit. You see? There's a big difference there. And you're right, Snow Carl. This happens in every industry. It's unfortunate it does. But let me tell you the difference. When I turn on my television, okay, and I see John Stamos telling me to eat Greek yogurt, I think... What the fuck does John Stamos have to do with Greek yogurt? This is obviously a paid advertisement, and I'm not going to run out and buy Greek yogurt because John Stamos is eating it on television. Now, you know what? Some people actually will. People who are actually weak-minded morons who think that John Stamos is like God's gift to mankind will actually run out and buy Greek yogurt because he was in an advertisement for Greek yogurt. Someone just sent me a dollar asking me what kind of man I'd be interested in dating. Oh. Well, 99% of the time I would say no one because I'm a straight heterosexual male who's also married, uh, but John Stamos. Okay, it's just true, but most people won't. The problem is I feel right now with the gaming industry, since the industry is still young, we have not had 50 to 75 years of advertisement like this, like the television industry has. So people don't get the difference between the John Stamos Greek yogurt ad, and the content creator tomorrow who puts out a stream of Far Cry 6 early and literally kisses the game's ass every moment they're playing it. They don't get the difference. In fact, I would argue it's deceptive because tomorrow the content that these people put out, even if they put in the description of their stream and video, FYI, this is a advanced copy provided by Ubisoft and this is representative of, you know, blah, 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 agreement to them. It's a paid advertisement. People just don't get the difference. They don't. They feel that every stream, every video is genuine. That every piece of content you get from that talking head that you love on the internet is genuinely their true opinion and true content, not a paid ad. It, we haven't gotten to that point yet, okay? We haven't. We will eventually. I, feel, I fully believe that eventually people will wise up when it's another 10 years of this shit and people are so fucking dumb that every single game that's bad is getting its ass kissed by these people. People will finally say, all right, I'm not going to watch this shit no more. Why am I- Alright, I watched John Stamos eat the Greek yogurt, then he ate a fucking Dole banana, then he started sucking down caviar, then he started eating a fucking Omaha steak, and now he's licking a fucking, you know, Cold Stone ice cream. At one point, you gotta believe, maybe John Stamos doesn't just sit around eating this food all day, because he's John fucking Stamos, he's a skinny-ass motherfucker, right? This is obviously bullshit. This is a paid ad, this is not representative of what really happens with John Stamos. But it, that's the thing, today, people aren't that small yet, aren't, aren't that smart yet. They watch these idiot content creators lie every day, and make a big paycheck doing so, or again, making bank on that day one content. Tomorrow will be payday for so many content creators. Monday will be payday. Because, oh man, that advanced copy, I finally get to put out my review that'll get a million views. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. So there's a guy, his name is Mr. Views. Years ago, I used to say, I don't want to be Mr. Views. I don't want to be all about the views. But in, in reality, a lot of the things on YouTube used to be about the views. I finally get to do my exclusive early stream that'll make me thousands of dollars. I can't wait to kiss this game's butt tomorrow. You see? It's just ridiculous, man. It's, it's you know, it's out of control. And people are too dumb. So that's the difference. I agree with you, Snowcrawl. Every industry does it. But I feel like every other industry, people, ha they get it. Okay, we're not that gullible. We know when I see an ad on TV, you realize that's an ad that's not truthful. Truthful opinion of the celebrity representing the product in that ad. People don't know the difference with content today. They're that stupid. They, we need another decade of people understanding this is all garbage shill content before things will change. But for me, part one of the playthrough was like, that, that's do or die. That's going to be the part... That's going to get the most views out of the entirety of the playthrough. There's no way I could not have, you know, monetization on part one. That's insane, okay? There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory 
but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.